So now we're going to get started and talk about SQL query activities in Automation Studio. So SQL queries let us retrieve data extension or data view information that matches our criteria and then we can take that criteria and put it into another data extension. So let's create a SQL query. So follow along as I create this SQL query. So we'll click SQL query and click next. And in the properties section, we'll name the query. We can leave external key blank, unless you want to put an external key here. For folder location, we can choose which folder we'd like to put this query in. And then we can give it a description and then click next. And in this SQL query, we're going to be pulling information from our demo extension. So the first thing we'll type in is select. And then we can click on demo extension and then drag it over here. And all of the fields in the demo extension auto populate into this little box over here. So I'll go ahead and delete this comma here. And then I'll put from ENT dot and then the data extension name. So ENT dot demo extension. The reason we put ENT here is because we're in a child business unit. So anytime you're in a child business unit, you need to put this ENT whenever you're querying from a data extension. If you're in the top level business unit, you don't need to put ENT dot you can just put the data extension name. And then I want to pull all information from the demo data extension, but only where the gender equals female. So we're going to pull every piece of information and only include the females into our new data extension. And then we'll validate syntax, and we see that it's valid, and then we'll click next. And then we'll need to make sure that we create another data extension that we want to pull this new information into. So as you can see over here, I've created this demo extension underscore female data extension. And I'd advise you to create a new data extension as well. All I did to create this data extension was I created a standard data extension from an existing data extension. If you don't know how to do that, go back to earlier in this course and watch how to create a data extension from an existing data extension. So this is the exact same data extension as our demo extension. It's just copied and then I gave the name underscore female after demo extension. So now we're back at our SQL query activity and our target data extension is our demo extension underscore female. And I'm going to overwrite this data extension and click next. And then we see our properties for our data extension, our target data extension, and then our SQL query. We can edit all of this information here on the summary page, but if we don't want to edit, we can click finish. Now that the query is created, let's go ahead and run this query. We can do that by clicking this drop down button here and clicking run once. Or we can click on the demo query name and we can come over here and click run once and then click run. And then we can go back to our demo extension underscore female data extension. And we can see that we have three records now. So let's look at these records. We can tell right away that our query worked because the only people in here are females. So this is Beyonce Knowles, Jennifer Aniston, and Jessica Alba. So our SQL query worked. Perfect. And that's how you create a SQL query in Automation Studio.